coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, <laughs> this is not a video I want taken too seriously. Yes, the title is comparing these two games, Minecraft and Dragon Quest Builders, but I don't want to start an argument. I don't want the millions of Minecraft fans and the, the, the tens of dozens of us Dragon Quest Builder fans to start colliding and arguing about which game is superior. Uh, uh, something I may have <laughs> instigated myself recently with one of my video titles, which I had to change because people were getting quite upset with me. Look, okay, the reason why I'm making this video and it's a fun fun positive happy light video I just want to get if you just picture like balloons behind me and party streamers and then happy cheery music this is a fun video I'm not trying to make light of Minecraft or either of these games the reason why I'm doing this is because obviously if you follow me on YouTube you'll know that I have been addicted to for lack of a better word Dragon Quest Builders 2 I've pumped a hundred hours into this bad boy since it released on switch and I'm still playing it currently but this game Minecraft Minecraft, a lot of you will know, I, I never played it until recently. This is the first copy I've ever owned and the first time I've dived into the game. What I'm aiming to do today is to break down these two games a little bit and, and dive into what makes each game unique and what each game has to offer. But I also want to tackle the subject of, was I wrong? Because I legitimately thought that I would not enjoy Minecraft. I, I didn't think it was going to be fun. I didn't think it was going to have enough content to keep me interested. Has that changed? That is today's video. Oh! Before we get started, um, I'm gonna bring you guys into this world with me, or bring me into this world with you, I, I don't know. Anyway, green screen activated. But now it's a little bit nicer, now I'm kinda like in the game, you know? Oh, and uh, speaking of being addicted, I know I talked about this at the very end of my last video, but I do have new shirts, and I, I, I feel weird saying this, I don't like talking about it. Every time I make a video about how I'm addicted to a game, which I have done quite a lot. Um, people always comment, well, I'm addicted to beat-em-ups, and I, I love that comment. So I made it a shirt. If you actually are addicted to beat-em-ups like a lot of you say you are, um, now you can prove it by buying the addicted to beat em up shirt or the hair flip all over that subscribe button shirt. No sponsor in today's video. I'm sponsoring my sh myself with some t-shirts. Alright, so I'm gonna start with builders, and then I'm gonna do Minecraft next. So with Builders, I am right now in, I guess, what you would call the end game. I have completed the 50 to 60 hour long story where you travel to multiple different islands and meet a whole array of characters. So I have built all of this, and if you're a fan of my channel, you've already seen all of this in a video that I did, a couple videos that I did. I don't think I've added anything new to this town. I am, I am working on a lot of projects right now, though. So now that we're in the end game, as I said, it's, it's kind of actually easier to compare this to Minecraft because the, the story is done. So now I'm left with the, the, the key mechanic of the game, which is the crafting. Over here in this area, I, I, I am doing some work, as you can clearly see. There is a lot to this game that I am still discovering, um, and one of the most recent discoveries I made, that if you go to the online, you can actually look at a bunch of pictures of things that other people have made and posted, and you can go and actually visit their islands. And I didn't realize it, so you can go, like someone could come to my island right now and explore it and get ideas. And there's a tool called the Magic Pen, where you can copy someone else's blueprint, essentially just make a copy of something they have made or really anything within the game and then you could put the blueprint down and you can start working on the blueprint that way you remember where things are supposed to go and your villagers will actually come and help you build it which is really awesome and really handy it's taken them a long time though because this blueprint is huge now funny enough this game actually released a bunch of DLC recently that included an aquarium pack which gave me a fishing rod and the ability to catch fish there's over 40 I think there's about 40 different kinds of fish uh, it's kind of hard to find them all there's there's a few in there. Obviously, that's a hot water tank, and I'm gonna better build what you're seeing right now. And there's a little tunnel down here where you can go down and you can actually see all the fish like this. And I'm gonna put like corals and reefs and more scenic things down there. Over here, you can see the cabins that Ant Dude and I built in a video recently in the online. This whole island is pretty expansive. It, it's a default set island that everyone gets. However, if you go over here to the dock, once you've completed the game, you get the ability to go to a randomly generated island. So I can either visit the island I have built, which currently there's nothing on it. You can build a new one and it will just randomly generate an island. You can pick the type of island you want and then the size of island you want. So there's a lot a variety in that. However, I was kind of disappointed with the randomly generated islands because 
That, and, and we're gonna get to it in the Minecraft part, but that's the part I really, really love about Minecraft, is every time you start a new playthrough, it's on a huge world map that's randomly generated every time. It's different for everyone. These expansive caverns and vistas and just so, like, you never know what you're gonna find. And I wanted that from Dragon Quest Builders, but those islands I talked about, the randomly generated ones, when you hit large, the island is actually smaller than this island. The fact that the randomly generated islands are smaller than this doesn't give me much of a reason and to go and explore them and visit them. But as far as the land that you are given, you can do so much with it. Um, I showed you a little bit of what I've done. There are so many tools and things that I don't even have time to go over. Uh, things that make building easier. Things that I wish Minecraft had. Tools like this trowel, or however you pronounce it, are such a lifesaver. So if I was to press um, right trigger right now, which I don't really want to do. Well, I guess I, whatever, it's fine. It'll change all of it around me. That's really handy, and that makes building super easy. You can build oceans, you can build huge lava lakes, you can build anything unlimited. So it really does give you a lot of tools. And I think rather than me try and show you what I have built with my limited brain capacity, we'll visit someone's island and I'll show you how crazy things can be. Okay, we're just gonna visit this island because I actually wanna see this thing close up. It looks unbelievable. Insane. This is, this, this is insane. This is insanity. Like, I can't even fathom how long this took. This had to have been multiple people. It's just gorgeous. Like, the kind of, the ways people use the blocks in this game. And that, that's something else that I really like about Dragon Quest Builders, I think, as like a, a beginner to a building franchise is... You kind of just unlock by playing the game all the recipes to build things, like all the kinds of blocks, all the kinds of items, like bookshelves, all of this stuff. All this stuff, you didn't have to learn how to make it, you just kind of made it throughout the story. Either it was a story mission that you had to make it, or you just leveled up and you unlocked it. What island is this? Is this the default? Oh, this is their Island of Awakening too. Oh man, that is gorgeous. Oh, they've built... They have a museum! That's so clever! I didn't even think about that. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that! Look at how much stuff is here! There's no way one person did this. It's like an actual village. It's like a game in itself. That one looks super modern. Look at number six. That looks like a... LA mansion. Oh, there must be a lot of stuff on this island because I'm hitting some frame rates right now. <laughs> Okay, it's smoothing. No, is it smoothing out? I can't even tell. Oh, look at all the fish tanks they have. Okay, this island might be fully decked out. Oh, they built another boat. That's cool. Whoa, they built a lot of boats! What? Wow. Oh my gosh. Just how long it would take to change all that floor to that color. I like this. Honestly, this makes me want to give up on the game. Because <laughs> there's no way I could do anything like this. Okay, you could literally spend an entire day on this island just exploring it. I, I hate whoever made this. <laughs> How much have you made? Okay, this, I recognize this. This is the farm area. Look what they did with their farm. Oh, look at that giant fish tank. There's too much. It's, it's just visually too much. Like, this, this is a perfect example. Also, the frame rate to dying on this island. I can't believe this island is still going. Okay, I guess the last thing I'll touch on real quick before I switch over to Minecraft is uh, how you build in case you haven't played the game. So you go to a crafting table, you have like your subsections of things you can build, let's say furniture, you go to furniture, you want to build a bed, it tells you you need three grass fiber and two wood. So I just go build, he does a little crafty thing, and he builds it. You can only build at the crafting stations. There's also different kinds of crafting stations that offer some different stuff, but for the most part, this has most of most things. You'll notice I have unlimited supply because I am in endgame. There's still things I have to unlock by doing like the optional missions, like sell items on this island. You can have a little item store and sell things. They also switch to the first person mode and you can play the whole game like this. This mode is just really Minecraft mode. It's not a survival game at all. You're not struggling for survival here. You don't have to keep mining for materials. You don't have to keep remaking weapons. It's very easy going and casual. It gives you all the tools you could possibly need. You just have to hit a button and build it and then it's up to you to craft it. Okay, here we go on some Minecraft. Now, for those that watched my, my last video on Minecraft, which was like a week ago, my only video on Minecraft where I played it for the very first time. Thank you for watching that, by the way. Again, I didn't know how 
that video is going to go down. But everyone seemed to have a really great time watching me struggle learn how to play. But for people thinking right now that watch that, how can he compare these two games fairly when I just watched him a week ago start the game for the first time? Hear, hear what I have to say out, because it's probably not going to go the way that you think it will. I, I played a lot since then. Actually, let's see. It's not going to be like addicted hours. 15, okay, and then 95 on builders. This actually is my my second world. Eric and I are technically in my third world. This is my solo second world. I scrapped that first world. It's, it was actually there on the main menu. I haven't deleted it yet, but I... I <laughs> I screwed up that world so bad. Obviously, this is like a very small scale version of what I have happening in Builders right now. A little hut, little cooking station, and then I have uh, my little crops here. Um, not really fully fleshed out. I'm not really about the building in Minecraft yet. I've been about the mining, and I'm finally starting to figure out everything to do with that, and I'm not wasting the gold and wasting the diamonds. But anyway, enough about me. This is what... I love about Minecraft now. This is what I have completely fallen in love with, is the fact, and I mentioned this before, every time you start a new world, it's unique to you. Now, like, I knew that. I kind of knew that. Like, not playing Minecraft, I never really thought about how fun that would be. But now playing it and knowing this is my world, this is completely unique to me. I definitely do not feel limited in Minecraft while where I do feel limited in Builders. And I talked about the survival aspect in Dragon Quest Builders. You do have to struggle to survive in this game. Like death is around every corner and you do not want it to happen because you will lose everything you are holding. And you are most likely holding some of your most valuable stuff at any given moment. Um, the way you, you build the things I guess in a way are pretty much the same and then the way you use everything is pretty much the same but the fact that you really do have to go and get everything for yourself in this game nothing is handed to you you don't get unlimited ore that I'm aware of you don't get unlimited resources you, you if you want to make something you have to go and get the stuff to make it and there's a deeper connection there it forms a deeper connection with everything around you knowing that you built it you went out and found the stuff and you made it what it was oh yeah he's bad he's bad he poisoned me okay how do i get unpoisoned oh gosh okay now i'm probably gonna die down here all right okay all right i've never come across a wizard down here before getting dangerously close to, to dying there are you serious? Is this gonna keep... Really? Can I do anything about it? Can I really? What is happening? Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. But here's where I realized I was wrong. And I didn't realize I was wrong until I started Minecraft and actually made the comparisons. But I actually prefer the story in Minecraft. <laughs> and that's that's really... I, not, I guess it's not weird to say. It's weird knowing like how I felt before to that now. Because the story in Minecraft is whatever you want it to be. I'm really liking that aspect. Like, it's not tailor-made. It's not fully structured. I love the Dragon Quest story, but I love that this isn't structured. I love that I get to make my own story. And that was the first thing that I was really wrong about, because I was like, yeah, great. They throw you in a random world, and you just have to do stuff. And uh, it's not really like that. You just you discover your own adventure. And I feel like every time you play, it's going to be different. And if you play with people, it's going to be different still. Okay, I don't... I've, I've been stuck around this area while I've been talking. Because I feel like if I go off, I'm going to get lost. Because I'm not going to pay attention to where I am. And I'm dying because I need to go kill things and eat some meat. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stop this here and, and do my final thoughts. <laughs> All right, look. The title of this video is two things. One, was I wrong? And two, comparing these games. Let me start by saying I, I was wrong about Minecraft for sure. I, I think I, I pretty much showed that in my Let's Play of it if you watch that, because by the end, I was having fun. And I didn't know if I, I legitimately didn't know if I was going to. I was wrong about Minecraft. It's a lot of fun. And I can see myself spending a lot of time in it. So yeah, I, I was wrong about Minecraft. Now comparing these two games, jokingly, I did say that I thought Builders was superior to Minecraft, jokingly, but also in real life, for my preferences, I just I did think that it was a better game and I again I don't feel that way now I feel like these games offer very unique experiences and they can't really be compared like at their core How you build things it's virtually the same, but it, it's not really even about the building in Minecraft. It's about the exploration and finding the materials. I mean, yeah, there's building is a huge part of it, obviously, but there's so much 
more that goes into a playthrough whereas in builders it's the building is the focus it's all about building it's not really about the exploration because there isn't really that much exploration to be found which is why in builders they give you everything you need so you don't have to go and find it you don't have to go and look for things or look for recipes or learn how to build things it's just here it is here's the tools have fun and it is fun it's stupidly fun having everything available to you at any given moment means if i have an idea like i want to build an aquarium it's not something i have to plan like if i want to do that in minecraft i'd have to plan it out great in its own way but in builders it's just like i want to build an aquarium let's do it building and fun whereas minecraft is a struggle for survival creating your own adventure and exploring the land so yeah i was wrong i was and i'll be the first to admit it minecraft is a lot of fun and there isn't one game that's better than the other. I, I definitely don't think Minecraft is better than Builders, and I don't think Builders is better than Minecraft. I think it's preference, and depending on what you prefer from a game will depend on which one you enjoy more. But I'd love to know what you guys think. I'm sure a lot of you have played both, or played at least one, or played neither. <laughs> Leave comments down below on how you feel about these games. Remember, if you're addicted to this channel, <laughs> like I'm addicted to Dragon Quest Builders, you can buy that on a shirt. I'll leave links down below, and I'd really appreciate it. Don't be a stranger around here. Hey, flip all over that subscribe button. Sakurai Super Smash that like button. Check out Kim's brand new channel. Thanks for the support over there, by the way. Oh, and she made a Twitter. Oh, and you can follow me on Twitter. Okay, that's it. I'm out. Oh, wait, I'm coming. I'm leaving, I mean. I'm going. Bye.